Well, hey guys, welcome back. We are doing an ON30 review, which we haven't done one in a long time. This time we've got the Bachman 2442 articulated locomotive with tender. This is an unlettered version, a uh, wooden cab uh, of the 2442. Now this is a sound ready DCC equipped locomotive, so you can add a sound module. 565 for the actual locomotive like $129 for the sound module, but those are MSRP prices. You can get great discounts available off of that. So we'll take a look at both installing the sound module in these ON30 locomotives and then doing a quick review starting right now. These are some of the coolest boxes I've seen in model train stuff in general. Um, they have all these little diagrams on them. And this one is being a little bit of a pain here, but we'll get it off. It's like one side or the other. Let go, let go. All right, there we go. So, you got the little diagrams there. I'm just really not in the mood to edit too much, so <laughs> leave that in there. You have the tinder and all kinds of goodies hanging out at the bottom here, so let's unbox that first. All this is gonna fall out, probably. Let me just grab it here. Looks like you have another tinder, some tinder parts. Uh, you have some smokestack options. It's like you have lead truck option here. I think the lead truck's already installed. It looks like a real coal load that you can put in. And a whole bunch of headlight options, taillight options for the tender. So that's pretty cool. Lots of accessories. Most accessories I think I've ever seen. And we'll unbox the tender first here. And here it is. In a second, I'm going to show you how to install the sound decoder. It's real simple plug and play. And here's the locomotive. I'll get the box out of the way, but that's why I think the box is so cool. Uh, one of the coolest boxes in all the train things I've ever reviewed. Lift that up, and you have. More sketchings under there, Bachman DCC on board, exploded parts diagram under there, one year warranty for Bachman products, color page catalog request, warranty card, quick start guide, and a notice about electronic emission regulations. So all that's out of the way, unbox the locomotive. Just got a whole bunch of stuff on it here. Part flu, we'll figure what that out, figure out what that is in a moment. And for now, we will get this out here. There we go. Out it goes. Looks like it was the tinder. I'm sorry, the uh, front coupler. So I'll see how easy that is to reinstall. There's the screw coupler and the box it looks like it just came out in shipment so i'll just screw that back on and we'll be back in business here just to show you guys i simply put the coupler back on literally a minute so we'll go ahead and pull this piece out here we'll set this down and start looking at some detail on the locomotive and tinder okay here's the locomotive all out of the box ready to go we will swing it around, start in front. You've got an LED headlight. You've got the smoke box door here. This one's unlettered. You have lettered options. You've got this massive platform up front. You have the Easy Mate 2 couplers. You have the pilot here, coupler cut levers, the magnetic wand on the Easy Mate coupler. You've got the lead trucks here, which I did have to remove those to put in the coupler. Again, just a minute total side rods, drivers, 
You've got the smokestack, interchangeable smokestack by the way, bell, all the boiler sand domes, string going from the bell to the cab, string going from the cab to the whistle. You've got the cab roof vent, which is adjustable, I believe. Oh, nope, it's fixed. Disregard. You do have windows that open and close. I know that for a fact because I opened them earlier by accident when I took it out of the box. So there you have it, open and close windows. They do seal back to this rear window here. So it's all one molded piece. You've got the deck plate. You have back boiler back head detail here that you can see on both sides. You could easily install figures on both sides if you wanted to. All the valve gear inside. A little hard to see. Let me see if I can shed some light on this. There you go, a little better. You can see what's going on there. There's the firebox door. Separately applied grab irons. More of the same detail on the other side. You have the builder's plate here. More detail, just slightly different than the other side. And that is it for the locomotive. Now we're going to take a look at the tender. Tender has two connection points where you connect it to the locomotive. Coal load, river detail along the side. You might have a actual graphic if this wasn't unlettered or a number here. Coupler cut lever and easy make coupler in the back. Rear LED light swappable out water hatch. Told you about the coal load already. You'll see where that coal load comes off in a moment to install the decoder. You have the trucks of the tender, nice. And then as we swing around to the front, you've got <clears throat> brake wheels left and right here. And you have the pins, four pin and two pin connection to the locomotive. Now before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to install the decoder. <laughs> Uh, F0 will make sure the headlight works nice bright golden white LED headlight you can see it from the angle there it looks nice F1 is bell the sound is really nice in that the speaker is already installed so it's very very simple with that plug and play decoder Two is a whist long whistle. F3 short whistle. Oh, we gotta finish the grade crossing, right? F4 is steam release. F5 is dynamo. F6 is water stop. Have to hit F6 again to get it to stop. F7 is coupler clank. And F8 mutes the decoder and that's it. So those are all the functions listed in the pamphlet. So now that we've tested out functions, let's go ahead and turn this back on. We'll go over slow speed control next. All right, so we're gonna move this at one speed step. Nothing has been adjusted, everything straight out of the box, other than obviously the decoder being installed. One speed step, two. Two, it starts to move. Definitely some hesitation there. 
three. Three seems to get it moving better and smoothed out. Four. Five. Six. And seven. This is a good time to take a nice gander at the deck plate and how it sits. That's the furthest setting. Go in reverse, you hear the reverser kick in. Got a one here. Hesitation, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. A little late on the grade crossing, but I wanted to play that for you because we will not be doing a final run by because I had to take some time to install the decoder. But there you can get a better gander at the front headlight and how it's a golden white LED. It's very, very nice. Do grade crossing one more time. There you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this look on the Bachman ON30 2442 locomotive. All right, we're going to take a weight of this locomotive and tender together. Can't really operate apart, so I think I'll just leave them together on the weight here. I'm going to show you so you don't think I'm making stuff up. A little over 1.2 pounds. One pound, 3.3 ounces, 19.3 ounces, 545 grams, or 0.550 kilograms. It just went up a little bit, I think, when I moved it. So there you have it, 1.21 pounds. Quick check of the coupler height to power this off, or we will get a short coupler height. Dead on for the front, and we'll go to the back here, and dead on for the back as well. Well, overall, I think that was a great locomotive, and it's pretty cool that ON30 obviously runs on HO track, so there's no difference I had to do to my layout in order to show you that. The sound decoder was very simple installation. You know, if I can do it, it's pretty simple. So it was real easy to do, speakers already in there, and uh, made it a nice locomotive right out the back, right off the bat or right out of the box. So thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.